हेलो पीपल वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब हेलो गाइस दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑन ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच्ड माय पार्ट वन ऑन ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन प्लीज डू वॉच द वीडियोस ऑन ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन पार्ट वन देन यू विल गेट अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन व्हाट इज अ ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन सो जस्ट टू रिकॉल आई विल जस्ट recall what i have said in geometric progression part 1 so geometric progressions are is a number sequence when the successive terms in a sequence have a same common ratio also to find the nth term of a gp the formula is a n is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1 beware the a is the first term r is the common ratio and n is the nth term okay to find the sum of n terms of a gp you have two formulas when the constant ratio is less than 1 the formula is sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r okay similarly to find the value when the common ratio value is greater than 1 the sum of infinite terms of a gp is sn is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1 by 1 minus r Also, I have discussed one more formula to find the for the limiting terms of infinite terms of a GP when the value of r is less than one, right? So that formula is S n is equal to a by one minus r for infinite terms of a GP when the value of r is less than one. So let's use all these formulas in the coming sections and solve all the problems. Okay, so let's directly go with the first problem. So what's the first problem saying about? determine the sum of infinite terms of the series so infinite terms of the series you can you, you have you can use that formula only when the r's value is between minus 1 and 1 okay so sn is equal to a by 1 minus r and this formula is valid only when the value of r is greater than minus 1 and less than 1 first of all to use this formula we have to check the sequence like what is the sequence 1 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 Right, so this is the sequence. Right, let's check the common ratio. R is equal to one by two by one, which is one by two. So this value is less than one. Hence, you can use this formula to find the infinite term. So S infinity is equal to a by one minus r. So what's the value of a here? A is one. One by one minus one by two. Right. So one minus one by two is that one by two, and this two comes at the top, so it is two. So the infinite term of this series is the two. Okay, so that's all for the first problem, and now let's do the second problem. What's the second problem saying? Determine the tenth term of the series. We need to find the tenth term of the series: three, six, twelve, twenty-four, and so on. So this is the one of the geometric sequence right so to find the formula first we need to know what is a, a is already given that is 3 and now we have to find r what is the formula for r how to find the common ratio second term divided by first term or the third term divided by second term any successive terms right so i'm taking 12 the third term on the second term that is a3 by a2 to find so what it is 12 by 6 and you know that it is 2 once you have both this it is also said that you have to find a 10 what is the formula for to find the nth term of a series a n is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1 just apply all these values in this formula and find the final answer okay so what is the value of a 3 into 2 raised to 10 minus 1 right so how to find a 10 is equal to 3 into 2 raised to 9 i need to know what is 2 raised to 9 2 raised to 10 is 1024 so 1024 2 raised to 9 would be 512 so 3 into 512 what it is 15 36 so 1536 is the value or the 10th term of this geometric sequence i hope it's clear if you have any doubts on all any of these sections please write me under my email id jojos learning club at gmail.com or also you can comment under my video also if you want to have a look on other topics rather other than these geometric progressions please check on my channel the playlist i have different playlist for different sections for example for algebra for polynomial divisions also for number sequences fractions and so on please have a check on all these okay so this is the second term and now let's find the third problem 
So what is the third problem? Find the sum of first seven terms of the series. So let's first write the series 1, 1, 1 by 2. Then what is the next term? 4, 4, 1 by 2. Then what is the next one? 13, 1 by 2. Okay, whenever you have mixed fractions in a sequence, it is difficult to understand, right? So first thing is that whenever you have mixed fractions, try to write in its improper fractions. Okay, so I'm going to change this 1 into 2, 2 plus 1, 3 by 2. Okay, what is the next one? 4 into 2, 8. 8 plus 1, 9 by 2. And what is the next one? 13 into 2, 27. 27, 26 plus 1, 27 by 2. Okay, now you have written all these terms in terms of its mixed set fractions. Now let's find the final answer. To find the answer, you can, as I said, to find the common ratio of a sequence, you can take the two successive terms and divide it and find the common ratio. Okay, so let's find, let me take the first term, the second term. So A is already known, it is 1 and R is what? 3 by 2. What is the first term? It is 1 by 2. Okay, I got a confusion. So 1 by 2. So it is 3 by 2. So to find the R 3 by 2 by 1 by 2, 2 and 2 gets cancelled and you, the value of R is 3. And what is asked in the question to find the sum of 7 terms of the series? Which formula you will take to calculate this? Because to, when you have R is less than 1, you have a formula. And when R is value is greater than 1, you have a formula. And which formula you will be taking? Because here the 3 is greater than 1. So you will be using the formula SN is equal to A into 1 minus, uh, sorry, R raised to N minus 1 by R minus 1. Right? If you have any doubts on this, please check my video on part 1 on geometric progression where I have explained in detail about both these formulas. Okay, so let's direct, directly find the sum of 7 terms. So the first term is what? 1 by 2, right? And the second term R raised to N, that is 3 raised to 7 minus 1 by 3 minus 1, right? So 1 by 2 into 3 raised to 7. I need to find that 3, 3 square 9, 27, 81, 243, 729, 2187. So 2187 minus 1 by 2. That is 2186. I'm going to write this 2, 2 together and write it as 4. Okay. So this is not the final answer. It is in terms of improper fractions. Now when you have to write the final answer in terms of mixed fractions. So do the division for that. So 2186, right? 2186 divided by 4, what is 5, 20, 118, 4, 16, 26, so 6, 24, right? So 5, 4, 6, I did write, right? 5, 4, 6, 5, 4, 6, and what is it? 2 by 4. So this is the final answer for this problem. I hope it's very much clear. And now let's discuss the fourth problem. It's an interesting problem. Till now you did just, you can apply the formula and from this, it's getting interesting. Okay, so let's do the fourth problem. What is the fourth problem saying? The first term of a GP is four. It is said that first term is four. Okay, and the fourth term that is A4, or you can also say it as ARQ is given as what? 108. Okay, then what else it is given? Find the 6th and the 8th term. I need to find the 6th and the 8th terms. That is A6 and A5. Both this I have to find it out. For that, in this formula, A R cube is equal to 108. You already know the value of A, right? So that is 4 into R cube is equal to 108. So what is R cube? R cube is equal to 108 by 4. That is... 27. I hope it's clear. If you have any doubts, please feel free to reach me under my email ID, right? So R cube is 27 and from R cube, take the cube root of that. Then what do you get? 27 cube root is, so R is 3. R's value you get as 3. Okay, when you find the value of R, then you can easily, you already know now the value of A and R. So to find the sixth term, what do you have to do? A R raised to 5, right? So what's the value of 4? 4 into 3 raised to 5, right? What is 4 into 3 raised to 5? Uh, 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. So 4 into 
243. Let's check what is 243 into 4. 3 4s are 3 4s are 12. 4 4s are 16. 17. 2 4s are 8. 9 72. So 9 72 is the sixth term of the sequence. And also it is said to find A8. How to find A R raised to 7? A R raised to 7. 2 raised to 7, 3 raised to 7, we use somewhere, right? So I don't have to do all this again because 3 raised to 7, I've already known that it is 2187. So 4 into 2187. So 2187 times 4, that is 7 4s are 28, 8 4s are 32, 8 4s are 32, 32 plus 3, 2, 34, 4 into 1, 4, 7, 2, 4, 8, 7, 4, 8. So this is the value for the eighth term. And now let's do our fifth problem. Okay. Okay. Now let's read the fifth problem. Which term of the series 2187, 729, 243 is 1 by 9. Okay. We have a series 2187. Then the next term is 729, 243 and so on. We need to find which term. That is the nth term. We don't know which term it is. Right. So we have to find which is that term. What is the formula for finding the nth term? An is equal to ar raised to n minus 1. Right? So what is this an? An is already given. It is 1 by 9. And also, you also know that this is 2187. A is 2187. I need to also find what is the value of r. To find the value of r, what you have to do? You have to just divide the first term divided by 7, 729 divided by 2187. I know that these both are multiples of 3. This is actually what? This is 3 raised to 6 by 3 raised to 7. So this gets cancelled and this 1 by 3. So I can write this as 1 by, <clears throat> 1 by 3 whole raised to n minus 1. Okay. For the, just to keep the variable term on one side, I'm going to push this constant to the other side of the equation. So it becomes 1 by 9. What is 9 actually? It is 3 square, right? And also we know that 2 raised to 1, 2 and 8, 7 is what? It is 3 raised to 9. So I'm going to write this as 2, 3 raised to 9. And here also 1 by 3 whole raised to n minus 1. I wrote in terms of 3 because in the equation you already got a glimpse that it is in terms of 3. So to make that, I wrote like this. Okay. So sorry, just 3 raised to 7. So 1 by 3 raised to 9 is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to n minus 1. Just to write this as whole raised to 9, I'm going to write this as 1 by 3 whole raised to 9. So I can uh, equate with the powers. Because why did I write like that? Because 1 raised to 9 is also 1. So you can also write this equation as 1 by 3 whole raised to 9. Now 1 by 3 whole raised to 9 is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to n minus 1. When the numbers are the same base, then you can also equate it to their powers. So 1 by 3 whole raised to 9 is equal. So you can write this as 9 is equal to n minus 1. So what is the value of n? n is equal to 9 plus 1 and this value is 10. So this is the 10th term of this sequence. I hope it's clear and if you have any doubts on these topics, please feel free to reach me under my Gmail ID. Also, you can comment under my videos. Okay, let's see you on my part 3 on geometric progression. Bye-bye.